Hello everyone, welcome back to this back of Twinkai 3 motion control series video. In the previous video, we introduced the offline program for motion control, MC velocity, MC relative move, and MC absolute move. Those three commands are most common used motion control command in automatic control. So in this video, we will download all those function blocks. We will online test them. Now we can download our program. So let's build our project. Okay, no errors here. Let's download. So click this uh, active configuration downstairs. Download the hardware configuration here. Okay. Click this uh, run mode. So we'll see this icon will change. Okay. And then let's click this uh, login, download the program. And before we start to control our access, it would be better use this uh, watch table to drag our important variable from this access. For example, our access, let's go browse our global variable list. So our access, that is a single access, this, its date type is the uh, access REF. So from this access, Let's drag a couple important variable. One is the position. So NT to PLC. So let's drag this actual position. And same thing, let's browse the actual velocity. Single access. And NC to PLC. So we just drag this actual position. Let's drag this actual velocity. Okay. Okay, let's drag this uh, two important value, position and the velocity. Maybe one more signal that is a not move signal. So it comes from the status. Okay. Let's go down and find out not moving. Okay, here, not moving or moving signal. Okay. Okay, by default now it's a zero. Okay. Also we can open this access, same thing as the previous video. We can open this online, this panel, and from here we can also watch the current status of this access. Okay. And now let's go to test. Firstly, we can reset our access. So now the system is running. We can see here. It started already. Firstly, let's reset this access. So basically, in the actual cases, we will connect this variable with the MCP push button. So once we click the push button, it will recite the any arrows from this access. And then the MC power up, it could be come from the one enable button from the HMI. Here, power on. Also, this power on could be controlled by the safety OK status. Okay, let's enable all of them. Also, we can see here. They all enabled. And keep in mind, this override now is a zero. We need to set something. For example, let's run fully speed, 100%. Okay. Now, this access is zero. To make sure this access is actual zero, we can set this home position. Okay, let's execute this home execute command. Okay, now the access is as a zero. Okay, firstly, we can press this button to jog this axis. Okay, and from here, we can see this is the axis value. And also, we can control this jog forward and jog reverse to move forward and move reverse this axis. And then let's go to the command we programmed today. So firstly, this is a move velocity. So let's set the velocity command here. For example, let's set 100 millimeter per second. And this acceleration, let's set, for example, 500. Deceleration, let's set 500. And jerk, we can set uh, 1000. And direction, by default, this direction, we can, from here, we can select. This value, the first one, that is the number one. So that's the positive. Keep in mind, this negative value, this command, that's number three. 
One, two, three. Three means negative, not number two. Keep in mind here. For example, if we drag this uh, direction to this watch list here, if we write one to this value, so watch here, it will show the MC positive. If I write three to this variable, if we write a three to this numerator direction, this variable, you watch here, it changed to the negative. Keep in mind, negative, that's the three. Okay, let's run the positive direction. So I will write one to this variable. And from this numerator, this list, so it will show the MC underscore positive. And now let's trigger. And once I trigger it, the axis will move with this velocity speed. Trigger. So we will see this side point velocity that will run 100. So that means this 100 rolled into this access command. This access will keep moving. And how we can stop? So actually we need to program the stop or halt the command. But I will show the halt and the stop in the next video. Temporarily, I can press this stop. This button from this control panel to stop this access. So keep in mind, when we fire this move velocity, we need to program the hot or stop to stop it. Let's trigger it again. Keep in mind, this execute, that is just a rising edge. If I double click, let's trigger it, access is keeping moving. If I turn it off, so we will see this access will keep moving. Even if here, this is off until you stop or halt this access. Keep in mind this. Basically, this move velocity always come with a stop or halt command together. Okay, let's scroll down. Next, this is move relative. So this move relative, every time we trigger this command, our axis will run the certain distance. That distance we will can set here. For example, I can set 100. And the velocity, I can set very low, for example, 20. Okay, we set this distance and the velocity here. And here, keep in mind here, this acceleration and the deceleration, because we connect this variable here. By default, if we forgot the set something here, that is a zero. But fortunately, in the back of system, if we set a zero here, that means the system will run the default setting from this axis rather than using the zero directly. So it will still run this axis. But for some system, if we leave the zero right here, the system won't move because the zero acceleration, that means our axis won't move. So keep in mind this. To test the purpose, I will specially leave this zero. So we will see the system will still run the axis. That because the axis is using the default setting from this axis three. For example, here, if I double click, uh, it's jumping here. If we shift to the parameter here, we will see this is the axis three setting. So here we have a default acceleration and uh, deceleration here. It's setting the 1500 here, okay? So from test purpose, I will special leave a zero. We will see it's still moving. Now let's trigger. Keep in mind, this is the SQ, this is the trigger command. It just need a rising edge. Once I trigger it, even if I leave a zero, the axis is still moving. So it will travel 100 this distance with the setting 20 velocity. For example, if I set 1000 and the speed, let's set 50. And now let's trigger it. Trigger and leave this command to off. So we will see this axis is moving and the target will run one more, 1000, and speed is 50 here. We will see here from this variable list. Okay, this is the move relative. The move relative will automatically stop once it finishes its job. This 1000, this is the distance. Okay, and let's look at this output status. So let's run the negative distance. For example, this time let's run so for example, this time let's run the negative 1000. 
So that means it will based on this current position and run the backward direction 1000. Okay, let's trigger. So it will run the negative 50, this velocity, and run backward direction. In the meantime, while it's moving, so the busy will turn on, active will on. And once it's finished the job, so it will shut down. The signal will go off. In the meantime, once this job done, this done signal will turn on. Okay, if we leave this uh, command off, so this done signal will off. So usually, once we trigger this command, we will turn on this command. And once we see this done signal, we will shut this uh, execute command to off. Basically, use this logic, turn on, let in this execute, and once it's done, and we will reset that, okay? And then let's go to the move absolute. The move absolute, let's set the position target. So now we are at 2700 here. So let's set the 1000. And velocity, let's set a 50. And acceleration, deceleration, and jerk, they are zero. That means it will use the default setting, okay? So let's set this value. And now let's trigger it. So trigger, I will shut this uh, command off. We will see how that move. So while it's moving, the busy uh, active is on. And the axis will travel to 1000, this actual absolute position. And speed is 50. And meantime, we can see the actual position and uh, the velocity. Okay, and once it's done, the signal busy and active will go off. The done signal will just run one pulse. That on will stay one cycle. Okay. And for the next move, so now we are at 1000 for the next position target. Let's write 2500. Okay, and the speed, let's set 50. Okay. And once I trigger it, it will run the 2500, that absolute position. Let's trigger. So busy and active, they are on. And access is towards to the 2500, that position. And from here, we can see the actual position feedback and actual velocity is running. So now this execute turn it on, and once we receive this on, so we can reset this command. So once it's reset, so this done signal also go off. Okay. This is the typical command: move absolute, move relative, and move velocity. And from here, and comparing between these three commands, as we can see. The move absolute, once it's finished its job, so reach this target, the axis will stop itself. Same thing as this relative, once it's finished this relative distance motion, so the axis will stop itself. But for this move velocity, that is the speed control. Once we fire, rising edge fire this function block, the axis will keep moving. To stop the axis, we need to use the hot or the MC stop to stop the access. So in next video, I will show the MC hot and the MC stop. All right, that is for today. The motion velocity relative and the absolute, there are three common function block for the motion control. And this programming style can be used as the sample or the demo for your program to practice your motion control. Also from this panel or from this watch list, you can watch this actual feedback so you can practice this motion control programming that's it for today thank you for watching thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumb up if you like to watch more videos in my channel please subscribe and hit the bell thank you for watching